for the Australian market, it's all about improving the ability to innovate in response to business or market changes. So there's three trends that Forrester sees within the manufacturing industry that support these objectives. It's using CRM and digital experience platforms like LifeRay to modernize the front office. And it's connecting the manufacturing value chain And the third priority is around data and AI to unlock value. So again, it means that manufacturers have to support their customers over a range of channels that are increasingly trending to self-service and digital, but it's not only about digital channels. It's really being able to support the breadth of channels from voice to digital to self-service to be able to meet the customers in the channel of their choice that's appropriate for the type of inquiry that's being handled. And again, to be able to support these omni-channel customer service interactions, it takes that integration of the digital experience solution and the CRM solution, again, to be able to seamlessly support that full customer journey. But modernizing the front office isn't enough. Much of the data that the front office needs, like invoices and orders and purchase history, are really contained in your back office, your ERP systems. And so to gain greater efficiencies, manufacturers have started integrating CRMs and ERPs to be able to support discrete end-to-end processes like lead to cash or source to pay. But If you don't fully unify these solutions, manufacturers are not able to empower their sellers, empower their customer facing employees with the data they need to better engage and support their customers. By connecting this manufacturing value chain, supporting the end-to-end processes that span CRM technologies and ERP technologies, you're able to empower the front office with all the data that they need to be able to better support customers. So their biggest challenges were in a CRM deployment. And what we found was biggest challenges that companies face is really still creating that single view of customer data. And this difficulty in being able to create a single view of customer data is really the outcome of CRM being deployed in silos. So you've got sales, marketing, customer service data is not interconnected. So companies are still struggling to have this complete data about their customers and accounts. They're also struggling with the quality of data. If is it complete? Is it accurate? That's captured within their CRM. And they also, we found, struggle with, even if the data is complete, they struggle with getting insights from the data that they have and surfacing these insights in the flow of work to sellers or to customer service agents for the front office to be able to use the insights to be able to impact business outcomes. So AI, we're finding AI technologies being used more and more and being embedded in CRM solutions. And AI technologies really fall into two two buckets. You've got predictive AI, and that's AI that analyzes existing data. And then you have generative AI. And this is AI that creates new content based from content that you already have. 